nobody really wants to believe it. I mean, what people have asked me, you know, previously, and Mama has asked me this question, yeah. you know, um, you know, what was the what was the whole purpose? Well, it, it, it basically came down to one thing and one thing only. You know, it was it was money. These kids were being grabbed, okay, to satisfy yep. the you know, malignant twisted, you know, evil, you know, depravity. Very powerful individuals who had the money. What uh when you were working at what was the price you were coming up with that they were getting for these kids? Well, the kids weren't they weren't auctioned off the no, no, not no. They're not. No. Uh, you know, one of the uh, one of the things that we were that we did find out, uh, you could order one of these kids. Uh, it was like between twenty five hundred and three thousand up front, and then you had the balance of about another three thousand thirty five hundred to four upon completion. In some cases. You know, depending upon circumstances, you could probably the bargain based on price of fifteen hundred. The most I think we ever saw was the bondage S and M type freaky shit, and that was an even ten grand. And these people laid that money out like candy. Yeah, we had we had guys like George Boutros. We had them at twenty thousand dollars. That would have been an extreme. Yeah, day. yeah, it was. I, I mean, most most of the time, I mean, I will grant you that we're not, you know, two to three hundred dollar an hour. You know, no, no. No, 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 this you was... Know, I mean, this was, I mean, first of all, you know, you have to remember that the, the primary venue for these events occurring, okay, was some of the costs in the world. I mean, we're talking, you know, the utmost in the discreet, you know, I mean, we're, we're past the risk call now at this point. I mean, we're talking five-star hotels all over yeah. the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's like, you people are fucked up. They're just using runaways. I went, no, they're not. That's right. Well, how the fuck do you know? Because I've worked the streets. Mm-hmm. First of all, okay, the kids on the street are psychologically fucked up. Yeah. They either ran away or got tossed out of their home for a variety of reasons. Yep. Second of all, most of them started selling their pussies or pricks within the first 24 hours they hit the street. Very all, true. A lot of those kids, okay, have an STD of some sort, yep. okay, and number four, okay, their bodies are so wasted after the first six months of being on the street, nobody wants them. That's right. That's, you okay. got you got that 100% right. You know, Jim, I talked to these kids. I did too, by the hundreds. I talked to, I talked to rent kids at Times Square, I talked to Yeah, oh yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, yeah, talking, that's the level that we were at, yeah. Well, I mean, and, and you know, I mean, if you ordered a kit, for example, um, you know, first of all, it was a matter of the contact, it's hard enough to even get a contact, you know, the veracity. I mean, it wasn't one of those things where you could come fly into Jakarta and order a kit and have the kit sent to you in an hour. No, I mean, no, that was... If you that, it was, you had to be vetted by somebody who had to vet something, who had to vet this, who had to vet this, I mean, yeah. you know, you just didn't get a kit first 24 hours. In most cases, you didn't get the kid the first time out. You probably That's right. didn't get the second or the third time out, maybe. You know, be a boy, girl, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, and then, see, that was the other part of it, too. And this is, this is another thing that just makes me so angry. Um, everybody claims that they were used in these ongoing spot pornography operations, and that is not true. Uh-huh. None of that stuff ever was manufactured for commercial purposes. No. 